Hello, much love and good afternoon. In this video, I want to talk about why ignorance is bliss. Although when it comes to childhood cancer, ignorance is not so bliss. So if you're on social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, chances are you're friends with someone who's uh, an advocate for childhood cancer or you're friends with parents whose children are battling cancer or they have fought and survived or they have passed away unfortunately and there's a very specific reason why those of us in this community we raise awareness to pediatric cancer and the key element of raising awareness to this disease is to eliminate the idea that childhood cancer is rare I gotta tell you folks it's not rare when you take the annual number of diagnoses of children versus um, the number of children who have died fighting tooth and nail to overcome and conquer the disease. How do you incorporate the word rare in the same sentence as that? You just can't. It doesn't make any sense, and it shouldn't make sense to you either. Childhood cancer is not rare, and every time the word rare is introduced in the same sentence as pediatric cancer of all kinds, not just specific cancers, but all kinds, it thwarts the efforts that those of us are putting forth for funding and research with our United States government. Uh, and I, I'm not sure how other countries operate uh, their, their funding for pediatric cancer research. I would have to um, look that up. But I know here in America, only 4% of the federal budget is geared at funding and research for pediatric cancer, this needs to change. And one of the, I, I would dare say the key element, it's not one of the reasons, the key reason that so many of us, whether we're directly affected or indirectly affected, the, the main reason we raise awareness is to eliminate the idea that childhood cancer is rare, because it isn't. And every time the word rare shows up in the same sentence, it dissolves and diminishes our efforts and our missions to try to bring childhood cancer to the forefront and get the funding we need for the cures and the research that we are so desperately seeking answers for. It needs to stop with the rare thing because it's not rare. And the reason I call this video Ignorance is Not Bliss is because once you are made aware of childhood cancer, it doesn't matter if it's in the real world or on social media. Once you are made aware of this disease, that childhood cancer is real, it's not rare. Once you're made aware of this, you can never again say that you did not know. Now, again, and I'm going to talk about this in this video as I have talked about it several other times, whether it be on social media, here on my, on my YouTube channel, or elsewhere. My parents were also those parents at one time said, not my child, and guess what? They were wrong. Now, it may not happen to your child today. It may not happen to your child, excuse me, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Childhood cancer is prominent. And a lot of these parents whose children are, are going through this they were also in the same boat as you until the unthinkable happened. Raising awareness is always important, especially to childhood cancer, because it hardly ever gets spoken about. It hardly gets any media coverage at all. Um, we have certain days that spotlight childhood cancer, uh, you know, the International Childhood Cancer Day and the National child of cancer day and then in september we go gold for uh child of cancer awareness month which is great however for people like me for people like my mom and dad and my family well i would have to say my immediate family because my cousins and aunts and uncles and grandparents they could give a shit less about it but for people like me and my parents this is an everyday reality it's a bridge that once you burn it, you can't cross it again and say, well, hey, I, I'm not one of those people who was affected by childhood cancer. It's too late for that. And 
the reason that I became an advocate, I had taken on the role of being an advocate back in 2013 is because I realized that my story has just as much emphasis in this community as the next person. Although I'm not a child anymore, and therefore, yeah, it's not so cute when you're a grown up. Well, it's not about being cute. It's about introducing my story, my health history back into this community for the hope, for the inspiration, for the education, and for me to say, I am walking beside you in this journey. For me, that's what it's about. So in closing, I just want you to think about this for a second. Even if you're not directly affected by childhood cancer, even if it's not your child or your family member, relative, whatever, if it's not your family or someone close to you, a close friend, even if it's not their children affected by childhood cancer, if you make it known on social media, you are doing the community a huge, tremendous service. Because those who are indirectly affected by childhood cancer, and I'm friends with many advocates who are indirectly affected, I have a great deal of love and respect for them. We talk almost daily uh, through text message and email. But even if you are not affected by this in a direct sense, sharing a gold ribbon, sharing a meme on, on Facebook or anywhere uh, where, where you're able to do that, you are one more person who's out there advocating for these kids and we are one step closer to possibly, uh, you know, moving in the direction for funding and research for pediatric cancer, finding cures. That's what it's about. So please, do not hesitate to share those ribbons, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a gold ribbon. It could be a gray ribbon for brain cancer. It can be an orange ribbon or a green ribbon, depending on how you look at it, for kidney cancer, Wilms tumor, um, for all cancers, because each cancer has its own ribbon. It's all color-coded, and uh, so share it. Uh, you know, childhood cancer is, is one of the things, like I said, it is very, very unpopular, whether it be in media coverage, whether it be at a football game, a baseball game, they only spotlight it in September. We, For us, it's an everyday thing. It, it doesn't stop at September. This is a, a 24 seven, 365 a day deal. So please help us raise awareness and eliminate the idea that childhood cancer is rare. We need to take the word out of the sentence, out of the equation, because it stops us, it, 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 it puts our efforts and our missions to a screeching halt of trying to make this aware so we can get funding and research for cures of childhood cancer. I'm friends with a lot of families and a lot of advocates, both directly and indirectly affected. I love them dearly with all my heart. We talk almost on a daily basis, and I will walk with them for as long as I can until we find answers. Ignorance is not bliss. Once you know about it, you can never again say that you didn't know. Help us raise awareness. Much love. Have a great day.